Okay. Uh, we've been working on form submits with PHP uh, and submitting stuff with HTML to PHP. Um, but you need to be careful whenever you're allowing users to submit information to your site. Now, the example we've been doing just basically redisplays what they, they, they input back out to themselves, um, which can be dangerous in some cases if you're not careful. But most cases, that's not a huge deal. Um, it becomes a little more of a threat, in, in my opinion, uh, when it's throwing something that other people are going to view or... Um, just stuff that's going to be stored on your site for later use. And here, here's an example. I mean, it can be useful in some ways. So we have our basic form here that does a post submit. We got uh, entering the username and a phone number, and we click submit. And it says Chris's phone number is 555-5512. That's fine. But if, I, if the user was to input something like this, whoops. which is a basic, a very simple HTML tag. Let's, we'll make that a little bigger so you can see. Um, of B for bold. When I submit, you can see, uh, oh, what did I do? Oh, that should be a forward slash submit. You can see that the name is bold. And of course, if I left off that tail one, it makes everything bold. Uh, so it looks a little more bold, I think, when I minimize it. That's why I made it a little bit smaller there. Uh, but here's another example. It can throw off the formatting of your site if they were to put in html uh tags for headers so uh header one header one submit and now it's throwing it off like that and so if this is going to be saved in maybe a database or something and then later on displayed for other users it could screw up the whole look of your website um so you may not want them to submit tags you could also they could also submit some malicious stuff that causes pop-ups uh you know alert boxes redirects or just links to sites that you may not want them to go to. So the a simple way of fixing this is PHP has a built-in uh, function for removing uh, HTML tags. So let me go down here into my uh, terminal here and I'm going to use Vim once again. I'm going to edit the PHP file that we are submitting to, so post.php in this particular case. Once again, I'm using Vim as my text editor. Use whatever text editor you're comfortable with. And right here you can see that we're using, uh, we're saying set a variable of user and set it equal to whatever post uh, and user is. and uh, saying a new variable phone whatever the post submit of uh, phone is and in this case user equals this with the HTML tags so you could one by one go and remove all of the uh, the HTML tags using uh, strip but you can very conveniently replace all of them in one simple command so in this case we're going to do post but you do the same exact thing with get you just change the word post to get. So we're going to say uh, dollar sign underscore post. So we're setting post, which is an array, uh, to whatever we're going to equal over here. So we're going to say dollar, um, sorry, array underscore map. Whoops. Map. And then in uh, parentheses here and ending our command with a semicolon, we're going to say strip tags comma and then we're comma and then we're going to give it the input of the array that already exists so what we're doing here is once again we're going to create an array called post now there already is an array called post which is the submitted information each variable uh, is part of that array what we're going to do is we're going to map that array uh, and use the strip tags command uh, and we're going to strip it from the existing posts. So basically, uh, looking at this backwards, we're going to say, okay, look at all the submitted posts. Strip those, any HTML tags from there, and then remap that array into this array, which is replacing the old array. So that's all we have to do, and from here on out, uh, it's going to work the same, except for all the HTML tags have already been stripped. So if I save that, and submit this form again, you can see it no longer has that issue with the header tags screwing up the page or possible malicious uh, HTML or maybe some JavaScript or something in there that could redirect, pop-ups, that sort of stuff. 
Um, so this is a good idea. Anytime you're doing a form submit, I usually do this as my first line, whether it's a post or get. It, once again, if it's a get submit, you're just going to change this to be get and this to be get. And it's just replacing every variable with itself, but without HTML tags. So that's it for uh, this little tutorial. I hope you found that useful. Definitely very important thing to do. Uh, another thing we're going to be looking at soon is, um, is special HTML characters that can, can screw up your page. Uh, and there's a special command for that as well. So look forward to that tutorial. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials. Once again, always like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss anything. Be sure to check out this entire playlist if you haven't. Hopefully there's an annotation somewhere. Um, and uh, visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. You can search through my playlists and videos there. So once again, thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Thank you.